Hello, everyone. Welcome to this technology review with Benek, the home of ALD. My name is Leah, and I'll be your host today. Um, here with me is my colleague, Dr. Tommy Gadriainen. Hey there, Tommy. Hi, Leah. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, so we have a very exciting topic today. Um, for those of you who have been following the Particle ALD technology at this conference, you may have heard of applications for batteries, uh, lithium ion batteries. And um, on this talk, we'd like to present an alternative application or approach featuring spatial ALD. At Benek, we'd like to call it roll to roll ALD. And uh, to get started, Tommy, um, why ALD for batteries? Sure, thank you, Lee. So, ALD in general is a technology to deposit extremely thin, conformal, and pinhole free films on various types of substrates. And these same film characteristics have also proven to improve battery performance and safety. So, Rotorol ALD is an industrial, low cost, and high throughput method to produce these high performance materials for next generation lithium ion batteries. So ALD has been studied for lithium ion battery materials for years already and is a very active field of research nowadays. Uh, for example, yeah, for example, less than a nanometer thick protective coating on battery electrodes improves the capacity stability tremendously. Though ALD coatings can also improve the stability and performance of separator film between anode and cathode, and this is related to battery safety. So, potential of ALD is not limited to improve the current lithium ion battery materials and consequently the battery performance, but uh, also enable the development of next generation battery technologies. So, unique features of ALD can be used to develop materials and structures for all solid state batteries, including the electrolytes and high aspect ratio 3D electrodes. And uh, this roll to roll ALD is an ideal method for producing sub nanometer thick films on flexible substrates with high throughput matter. And this also makes it very attractive for manufacturing of high performance lithium ion batteries. Uh, Tommy, a lot of our listeners may be new to roll to roll. Uh, so, how, how would you compare that with the particle ALD approach? So, well, well in, instead of uh, coating particles in powder form, we can deposit ALD film on cathode materials where particles are already embedded on, on foil. This flexible and porous electrode material is well suited for roll to roll ALD process. So, whether the approach is particle ALD or roll to roll ALD, we can conformally coat the high aspect ratio structures by this method or, or with these methods. Um, and the principle of, a uh, few words about the principle of uh, roll to roll ALD. So, uh, the roll to roll ALD, the precursors are continuously supplied on the substrate surface through the precursor channels. And in this example, we see TMA and water for depositing aluminum oxide. So precursor channels are separated with exhaust lines and the inert gas channel feeding nitrogen onto substrate surface. And the ALD film is deposited on the substrate when it passes these precursor zones. So at Benek, we, uh, we've had this product um, since 2013. Uh, so it's, it's something that we really would pioneer the design of. Um, could you, uh, Tommy, maybe share some of the highlighted features of this tool? Sure, I'd be happy. Um, so, uh, this our <coughs> WCS 600 roll to roll ALD platform, <coughs> with this tool we can basically deposit ALD films on 500 millimeter wide webs. Uh, and we also have a plans in place <clears throat> Excuse me. We have also plans in place for future scale up, increasing the the coding width in this WCS platform. 
So system can deposit uh, ALD films on various types of uh, substrate materials, including metal foils, polymer webs, and uh, flexible glass as well. Uh, we have demonstrated several ALD materials with this system already, and there are many other materials feasible for rolled roll ALD. The system can deposit ALD films at up to 350 Celsius and with the line speed of uh, up to 30 meters per minute. Uh, basically, we can run this tool with the two different uh, coding head modes. And uh, the, in this uh, slide, we, we represent a static coding head mode where the uh, ALD coding head is kept stationary while web is passing the ALD head. With this mode, we get the high uh, web speed, uh, but we compensate in ALD film thickness. Uh, and in numbers, that means 30 meters per minute in web speed and uh, roughly one nanometer thick film. Another way, right or mode of uh, using this tool is oscillating coding head mode. So by this mode, we get uh, higher film thickness, but we compensate in web speed. And uh, in, in this case, the numbers are one meter per minute for roughly 10 nanometer thick film. Um, Tommy, I just have a question. So can the user of this platform s switch between these tools or these two modes, sorry. Yes, so the, the, the system is, is <clears throat> can be used by both modes uh, and, and can be easily chosen based on application. And uh, speaking of applications, who have been the early adopters of, uh, of this technology? So the main drivers for, for developing roll-to-roll -roll ALD has been basically the high-performance moisture barrier applications, and uh, namely these are OLED uh, applications on flexible substrates and, and flexible electronics in general. Interesting. Um, do you have any uh, performance data that we can look at? Sure. Um, in this slide, um, the uh, we present the aluminum oxide, which is in general favorable for ALD and is that for roll-to-roll -roll ALD as well. So the process uh, run at 100 Celsius. We get the uniformity across the 100 millimeter wide web uh, within the plus minus 2% and in the longitudinal direction within plus minus 0.8%. And in this slide, uh, the same as the numbers from thickness measurements. Thanks, Tommy. Um, we can definitely see that uh, ALD is an enabling technology in the future. Um, as of today, though, it really isn't yet the mainstream um, application for batteries. So is that down to a lack of production scale equipment, do you think? Yes, I think so, but we definitely see at Benek that um, ALD is an enabling technology for high performance lithium ion batteries now and in the future. And this is not only proven by research on battery materials, but also by the development of industrial scale, scale ALD equipment now available for this application. Excellent. Thank you, Tommy. Um, I guess uh, that was a great uh, overview and insightful introduction to Roll to Roll. Um, at this point, I'll say a few words uh, for those of uh, those of the audience that may be new to Benek uh, as a company. So we um, are proud to celebrate uh, Benek as the home of ALD. Um, the story really began uh, back in 1974 uh, with the invention of ALD by Dr. Duomo Sundula here in Finland, where, where that technology was initially um, ingested into, injected into the production of um, thin film electroluminescent displays. Well, today, um, 
you know, 35 years onwards, we are still the one of the leading providers of uh, ALD equipment and R&D solutions. And uh, we're based in Espo, Finland, um, and we are uh, still we're one of the largest ALD production sites in the world today with over 40 ALD reactors uh, for service and production. And that accumulated that is accumulated from 35 years of industrial experience. In terms of products, we offer broadly four categories, uh, starting with uh, ALD systems and platforms for research and development. Uh, in fact, the TFS 200 is uh, our most installed, one of the most installed research platforms for ALD today, used um, extensively by universities and institutes around the world. Um, a second category is uh, designed for wafer processing uh, at wafer fabs or foundries, and uh, specifically our Benek Transform, which is the latest addition of our to our portfolio. It really is designed to cater to flexible volume production uh, in emerging semiconductor uh, applications. The third category is for batch production, and uh, here our P series, namely the P400A and P800, are some of the largest reaction chambers uh, for ALD in the world today. And lastly, uh, we have um, solutions for featuring spatial ALD, particularly roll-to-roll -roll designs, uh, such as the WCS 600 system that Tommy introduced us to today. So. Um, Thank you uh, for all of our listeners, and uh, it's been a great pleasure speaking with you and uh, having this discussion. If you have any questions, uh, do get in touch with us on the chat section below or send us an email uh, via the contact form. So with that, uh, thank you, Tommy, once again, and, uh, and thanks to everyone for tuning into this talk and stay well and healthy. Thank you. Thank you, Lee.